Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 and 18. It says, For a light affliction, which is but for a moment, walketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And so you are going through a circumstance that looks discouraging. Paul says that this circumstance that looks discouraging is a, is, is a light affliction. It can destroy you. Then number two is for a moment. It's not forever. And then number three is this walking in your favor to produce a far more exceeding and permanent weight of glory. Glory to Jesus. Then he tells us in the next verse, how we should respond to these things. So these circumstances, he said, why we look not are the things which are seen, but are the things which are not seen. Why? For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but are the things which are not seen. Paul, may God said to Abraham, a friend, lift up now that eyes and look from the place where thou art, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. Now let me tell you, we're going to deal more on that next Sunday. It was not possible for Abraham to see the whole of the land of Canaan with the physical eyes. So God expected Abraham to engage in his imagination. Engage his imagination. God expected him to engage his imagination. Say, look, north, south, east, west. Look. Don't look at what you can see physically. Paul says, yeah, why we look not at the things which we can see? But at the things which we cannot see. So look at it. That means there are two things we see. Two ways to see. You can look at physical things. You are seeing human beings in church right now. You are seeing chairs. You are seeing musical instruments. You are seeing everything in church. That's all you can see with your physical eyes. But God says, look at what you cannot see with your physical eyes. So in other words, it is still a reality that you are not seeing with your physical eyes. So there is the eyes with which you can see and that is the eyes of your heart. Hallelujah. And so that is why you see we keep saying that nations gather unto us. Because that is what we are seeing as a church. That nations are gathering unto us. We hold conferences and meetings. All nationalities from all over the world, they are present in our meetings in the name of Jesus. Men and women, they are booking flight from all over the world and coming to attain our Sunday services in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why we look not at the things which are seen? So the principle is that never you pay attention or give your attention to what you are seeing with the physical eyes. Give your attention to what you expect to see. And that becomes your reality. Because it says whatever you see is not forever, it's temporary. The what you are not seeing is eternal, is permanent. So keep looking at unseen realities. Hallelujah. Stop allowing things to discourage you. Stop allowing, stop allowing circumstances to discourage you. Stop allowing what somebody has said or what somebody has not said to discourage you. Stop allowing, oh, he didn't support me, she didn't support me to discourage you. Keep seeing your future. Because if you keep seeing that future, even when those that naturally God has placed on your path to help you, refuse to help you, God will devise a means to bring the right persons your way to help you get to that destination in life. He will help you. He will send people because he always use people. So he will send those people. When those that are supposed naturally, maybe as relatives, as friends, they turn their back against you. Don't allow that to discourage. Don't complain. God will bring people from nowhere to come and help you. You didn't hear me that started a big amen. He will bring people. You can never be stranded. Never. God is working in your favor. 
all things are working for your good. He's perfecting that which concerns you. He has completed you in Christ. Nothing is missing in your life and nothing is broken in your life. In Jesus' precious name.